Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today the video I have for you is not what I was originally planning to show you. I want to show you a piece I did with my Sennelier watercolors. And what you're seeing here in my sketchbook is when I was actually going through my 98 color set to pick 12 colors that I wanted to put into the little palette that I'll be using today. This piece is going to follow along with the sort of casual series we've been doing on testing out pieces with different brands of watercolors and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just go ahead and make a playlist now that we have a few videos to go into this sort of series so that if you've missed any and if you'd like to check any of them out you're welcome to do that. So far we've worked with Holbein, Daniel Smith, and now Sennelier. I'm really excited about what I'm hoping will be the next one or maybe the one after that. I, I don't know. Anyway, we've got a couple more coming up that I am looking forward to. So I've actually kind of been shying away from using my Sennelier watercolors lately, which is a silly thing because I really love the set that I have and there's so many, there's just a lot of opportunities for experimenting with colors that I might like to try in different brands that I already have with Sennelier or just getting to know these watercolors better. I really enjoyed them when I first started using them and then I think I did a piece or two with maybe Daniel Smith or M. Graham and I was just so struck by the differences and how lightly the Sennelier watercolors tend to glaze. And like look at the difference between the last shot and this one where the colors have dried so much lighter. Now that's not just the watercolors themselves, that's also the paper that I was using. It's not a cotton paper and it's, uh, I don't know, it just the papers, all papers are different so there's quite a bit of color shift going on with my darker colors. Anyway, I um, went through a phase where I was using colors that were more saturated and um, more vibrant than the subtle touch of Sennelier watercolors and I kind of just stopped using them for a little while. It was easier for me to get vibrant colors right away with different brands so my Sennelier set just kind of sat unused for a bit and I wanted to get it out again for a video and I had an idea for this piece that I had been wanting to do for a little bit and to be honest this piece I kind of went into this with no planning. So I say I had wanted to do it for a little bit. I think that one night I sketched the concept, which you saw in the beginning of the video, and then the next morning I started working on this painting and I didn't do any color comps or thumbnail sketches other than the little one in my sketchbook. I just went in and I started and I was feeling frustrated with a different piece that I was trying to work on for a video. So I wanted to just do something um, that didn't require as much brain power and something that I could just enjoy and just jump into and have fun and experiment. So that's kind of where this piece came from. And overall, I did end up really enjoy working on this one, especially when I got to the point where I could kind of just start to loosely lay in skin tones. There's something about just laying in big blocks of color and then sort of blending them out when it comes to watercolors. It's something I really, really enjoy. And it's, it's just this loose, colorful experience that is probably one of my favorite things about painting with watercolors, especially in terms of painting um, portraits or people and skin tones and things like that. I just really, really love it. There's something really soft and fine in the quality of Sennelier paints that's really enjoyable to work with, and this piece was definitely no exception in that regard. I mean, they the colors glaze beautifully, and I love seeing how the colors lay over top of one another to create new tones and new hues, and it's just really, really, really fun. Um, of course, things were a lot subtler and the layers were drying quite a bit lighter than what I was starting to get used to with my like M. Graham and Daniel Smith paints, which are of course much more vibrant, but it was nice to kind of get back to my Sennelier paints and remember some of the things about them that I enjoyed so much. And getting back to that idea of jumping into a piece without any planning. It can be really fun when you have a concept that you want to explore and you can just get into it as quickly as possible. I have been with a few pieces lately. I've been spending more time in the planning phases, so spending a lot of time refining my sketches and um, working on different compositions, so trying out different thumbnails and spending lots of time doing those things. And ultimately, I could be working on a piece for 
four to seven hours before I even start painting. So that can just be the thumbnails and the composition and the color comps and refining the sketch and transferring that to watercolor paper and finding the right references if I was using a different kind of pose or taking pictures of myself for the pose. And it could be just this really, really long process like the other painting that I'm working on now. I've probably spent a good 10 hours on it from the initial sketch to where I'm at in the painting now. And I'm actually not super happy with that painting. So I think I'm actually going to start over <laughs> with transferring the sketch that I still have to a new piece of watercolor paper maybe a different kind of paper, and it's just, uh, it's pretty draining. So I've had to kind of walk away from that piece and work on other smaller projects. I really like the concept for the other one that I'm working on, so I'd really love to share it with you guys, but it's just taking me a lot of time, and there are a lot of things that I'm trying that I'm not used to, so it's a lot of um, hit and miss, trial and error types of things. So I'm hoping that I don't just uh, lose stamina and um, lose my love for the concept of the of that other one. I'd really like to push through and create something, but it's just, it's pretty draining. So it was nice to kind of take a break and work on something a bit simpler, where I kind of had a clear idea of what it was that I wanted, which is what you're seeing here. Ultimately, again, as I say with most of my pieces, I feel like I could have pushed the values here, especially because we have such a dynamic composition in the form of a face peeking out from behind this very loose sort of abstract foliage. And I did go in and add another layer at the end of shadows, which I think helped to kind of set the character in this atmosphere and in this environment. But I think I could have done more. I think I could have, you know, pushed it a bit more and done a bit more, especially with the idea of the lighting. But really my intention with this piece was I wanted something that I didn't have to think about as much and that I wouldn't stress as much over. Um, so it's it's good and I'm happy that I did a sketch and then immediately got to jump into actually painting it and exploring the concept a bit. So here's that shadow layer and you can see that it's much lighter. It's still quite a bit of a glaze and once it's dry it's a little bit harder to tell it's even there. So that has to do partly with the lightness of the sennelier paints, but also the paper that I was using was not a cotton paper and the layers kind of lifted a tiny, tiny bit when I was, you know, laying one thing on top of the other. But overall, I really enjoyed exploring the concept of this piece. It was really fun and really enjoyable and just kind of a nice laid back. I want to do a thing, so I'm doing the thing and I had fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and joining me. Okay, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye! And then at the very end, I made a mistake and I decided I want to put eyelashes on this painting because I never paint eyelashes and that would probably be a good thing and that would look cool. But then I basically just feel like I ruined it. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh, well. Remember her as she was.